friends, we are almost going to end the chapter. So this will be the last session of the chapter, Human Health and Diseases. And yet we have all interesting stuff in this chapter, especially towards the last part. So now I will be explaining you about uh, what is an antigen, what are the different types of antigen and the structure of antibody. We will talk about vaccination and a little information about drug and drug abuse, right? Drug trafficking. And now antigens. So antigens are nothing but the foreign agents. So it could be any pathogens. They could be any microbes or any other um, foreign particles. For example, it could be a dust particle or a pollen particle or whatever it might be. They are all considered as antigens. So antigens are of two types. One is exogenous antigen, the other is endogenous antigen. So exogenous antigens are which the antigens that en enter the body from the outside world. But these exogenous, these endogenous antigens are those which are already present in the body but suddenly they transform themselves as a pa foreign particle. So that is the difference between endogenous and the exogenous antigen. And now you call about haptins. Haptins, they exactly don't, don't, they are not antigens but rather at some point of time they could kindle up the uh, uh, immune response in the body. Next we will talk about epitope and a paratope. So imagine this is an antibody and this is an antigen. So epitope is the antigen active part. So here is the active part of the antigen and paratope where the antibody active part. So the both epitope and the paratope they confine themselves into a proper shape so that they, they both could have an affinity with each other. So that is the difference between an epitope and a paratope. And now we will talk about the difference, I mean the exact structure of antibody. So antibody it is actually a Y-shaped structure. So it has a, a constant chain, a constant region towards the bottom and a variable region towards the top. And it has a heavy chain and a light chain. So heavy chain has, it is actually in high molecular weight and light chain is little lower in weight. And now these both, the variable regions are attached with the help of disulfide bond which means it has two sulfate bonds and then a sulfide bonds and then you talk about the protein structure they have a lot of protein that is the amino acid chain which is present in the antibody and then you have different types of antibodies so IgA, IgA, IgG, IgA, IgM, IgE and Ig. So for uh, easily like uh, remembering it, you can just uh, remember it as Ig gamed, which means that gamma, alpha, nu, and then epsilon, and then delta. Right. So these are all the different types of antibodies. So these antibodies they differ in these. Uh, they have they are all different types because of their shape and based on their function. And now we will talk about the autoimmune response. So autoimmune response is where, so suppose it there need not be any antigen. Your body recognizes few of your cells as the antigen. And what happens is that there is a formation of autoantibodies. So antibodies is produced in your body and cytotoxic T cells will kindle it. Meaning the cytotoxic uh, T cells will go and attack our own body and you have a lot of autoimmune disorders and then we will talk about vaccination so vaccination has 3 G's 1 G, 2 G and 3 G like how you have in your uh, net so the first generation vaccine is where live attenuated vaccine or killed vaccine which means that a particular bacteria or a virus is killed and then injected in your body called as they are all acquired immunity right so they killed in your body called as killed vaccine live attenuated is where the virulency of the bacteria or a virus has been removed the potentiality to cause disease has been removed and they are called as attenuated where they, they are no more responsible for creating a particular uh, discomfort Next is 2G is where surface antigen of a pathogen. So when a pathogen is there, it has its antigen molecules, right? The antigen molecule of the particular pathogen alone is extracted and that's how they manufacture these vaccines, that is 2G vaccine. 
Next is 3G vaccine, the third generation vaccine is where we have synthetic uh, vaccines and this we will uh, learn in depth in the biotechnology process chapter where uh, the synthetic generation is made, they are actually synthesized in the laboratories. So, so here like for live attenuated and all you have is measles, mumps and in surface antigen you have this hepatitis virus antigens right. So it could be hepatitis B because hepatitis B uh, it is actually a sexually transmitted disorder. So what exactly happens when you inject the live uh, virus? So we end up catching it, right? So rather the surface antigen alone has been um, uh, forced into the body so that the antibodies for these antigens is being produced. And then it is uh, like, and then you have this allergic reaction called as anaphylaxis. For example, when there's a pollen or a dust particle, they enter uh, our nostril cavity. Now what exactly happens? They are considered as the foreign particle. And now we start sneezing and some people have food allergy so certain components of food will be um, thought as uh, the antigen by our uh, immune system so that is called as allergic reaction then we have AIDS the structure of HIV so this like human immunodeficiency virus we have it is so simple like right from 6 standard we study about AIDS this is a short brush up where it has an out and protein coat 41 and then the other coat 20 it has double stranded RNA so it has reverse transcriptase where when it gets inside a live cell the replication of the virus will start and walk and eventually they'll stop they'll disrupt the T lymphocytes B lymphocytes, the CD4, CD8 receptors and eventually they take over the immune system and uh, people with AIDS, uh, they end up having nothing in the body, all the immune system, all the um, uh, organs is under repair. And then we'll talk about drugs, so it's, it's a very important uh, topic. So rather than um, like making it into a study topic, I wish to create it as something, a topic which creates awareness among students because these drugs and uh, alcohol are much addictive and they are all, um, they're all very tasty and they're all like much addictive. But the side effects that it causes uh, is a great matter of question because we have psychoactive drugs. So these drugs where once when it when once when it taken uh, through any opening of the body or once it is injected in the body, they they trigger the mental um, like uh, ability. So once your once the mental ability has been triggered, the stability, the mental stability is lost. So once twice it will be much of comfort. Tries and then go on, go on an addiction, and that's all. The whole central nervous system is under a greatest threat. And then we have hallucinations. Hallucination is where blood, vision, so getting onto a dreamland, a wonderland, so imagining all uh, this the stuff which you exactly wanted in life so that you forget the present depression it is all the hallucinations and then you have narcotic drugs narcotic drugs are where like actually they are used in the medical for example during surgery as a painkiller we have this opium from poppy seeds right and morphine but this is okay when it is taken in a limited account but what if this actually change uh, changes as a routine drug so you have all sort of psychoactive activities and and then we have, these are all hallucinogens where uh, these people who are under these type of drugs, we have like weed, marijuana, ganja and people are under these drugs, they have this heavy hallucinogens where uh, they, they really don't know what exactly is happening to them. So they are open to everything. There is high euphoric feel where they are really happy and whomever they see they act in a different manner. The central nervous system, the autonomic nervous system, the whole of the internal organs, especially heart, the organs, everything is damaged. So like it is just for uh, the viewers know that uh, all these drugs and alcohol is not uh, a result of happiness rather help somebody do a social service and you can like whenever something is really disappointing you it could be like some love failure or some marital uh, breakdown or it could be some friend who dejected you or whatsoever a parental loss these getting into addiction is not the only solution rather you could uh, meditate go on for classes 
karate classes dance classes aerobic exercises go hold on to a good friend so these are all the ways from which you can come out of the depression so there are two sides one is the upper part of the pole which is very good and this is the down part of the pole where uh, it makes put your life on to risk so successfully we have completed the chapter so um, hope you have understood the chapter and happy learning from bio to academy